Roll centers are a great place to start work each day for the users of the business application. In this particular case I'm looking at Nancy's role center and I can see my work list, I can see my queues, I can see my key reporting data like a sales chart and I can see my KPIs list. But information workers like Nancy also work with documents. So what we're looking at here is a SharePoint page. So we can actually combine document libraries for example onto the SharePoint page so Nancy has quick access to that data. So let's go and create uh, a, a document first. I'm going to jump into CRM and I'm going to jump into my leads list. So I can see my leads list. I'm just going to do a quick uh, export of this to Excel for example. So this is my list of leads. I'll quickly go and put that into a pivot table for example. This gives me the ability to give a quick status overview of the uh, the customers that I have on my leads or the prospects that I have on my leads. So this gives me a quick sort of um, status information. So what I'll do is um, is actually just uh, save that and I'll save it just onto my um, um, documents here. So I'll just call that um, sales leads. So that's, that's my um, uh, spreadsheet created. Now if I go into um, SharePoint in this particular case I'll log on to the Enterprise Portal and this is of course the role center that Nancy sees when she logs on to the role center. I'll just go up to my site actions here. Now this may be created by Nancy if she has administrative uh, or ability to create um, document libraries for example on the SharePoint site which uh, some users may have in the application. So I'll click uh, create and then SharePoint gives me the list of things that I can create, for example, um, uh, document libraries. So in this particular case, I'm going to create a document library. And I'm going to put in here my sales uh, leads uh, data. So this is what my document library is actually going to be called. I'm not going to save it on my quicks list and I'm going to have the default uh, document type to be an Excel spreadsheet. So when I save this, when I go create, this is actually the document library created and I can go and upload uh, documents into this. So what I can do is directly from Excel go and save this spreadsheet to my document library. So if I go to uh, Excel, do a save as an Excel workbook, what you'll see in the address bar is that I can actually type in uh, my website or I could actually have a, a hyperlink there uh, to that uh, website. So I'll type this which will be my uh, website up there and I'll just browse to it and you'll see it'll give me my site content in which case I get my sales leads data. So this is the document library which is the Excel um, document library in this particular case which is what I created earlier. So I'm just going to save my uh, lead spreadsheet up there and I'm going to call it April um, 01 for example. So I'll save that and if I jump back into the enterprise portal um, and if I just refresh that you'll see that I have my sales leads there. Now what I might want to do is actually put this on my role center so that I don't have to navigate to that. So if I go back to my home here, in this particular case Nancy, this will be my role center. So again I can use my site actions, I can edit the page and editing the page gives me the ability to add a web part to this page. So if I click add web part you'll see in the list of libraries that I have, I'll actually have the list of libraries that are available on this site. So this is my sales leads data. So if I click add, um, you'll see that it's added to my uh, role center in this particular case. So this is my sales lead data and of course I've got my unified communications integration. So there's my presence icon in this particular case. I'm logged on. So I'm going to um, exit that. Um, so I'll get out of the exit mode and you'll see that that's the sales lead data document library here. And so of course this is the SharePoint page. It's the same page that I see on the client. So if I go back to my home page uh, and if I hit refresh here to refresh that home page you'll see that I now have my sales leads document library directly in my role center. So this is a really quick example of how you can combine for example a document library uh, with the role center to enable information workers like Nancy to actually incorporate all their data together for quick access to do their work.